Welcome back, this is Ratch. It's been forever, and I do apologize for that. I have been busy as all hell, and I've I've been procrastinating a bit. I've had a lot pretty much go down, but I'm going to try to get back into a rhythm starting with this one, so I can go right as we see over here. We see... Whoa, she... Oh. Kara, where, where is it? Things disappeared for a moment. Like, yo, I found a red jewel, so... That's kind of convenient. Um... <laughs> So, let's just go into here. We see down here there was another chest, like, I can hear a soft voice. Palace of vampires underneath the ocean. Um, and produces demons continuously. I can attack. And those things don't do anything and they disappear. And how does that... How does this work? Like, what? And I don't think they damage me, do they? Um... Well, I can go up. Let's go up to that chest, because we saw there was one. A sign of life from the left-hand room. Let's turn right, because let's saw there was a chest right here. Like, yo, I found another red jewel. This is really easy. Um, I don't know where we are, at least. So, let's see. We see a good old Eric over here, like, What is this place? Dark and lonely. Mom, save me. So, apparently he's a little... Okay, he's disappearing. I don't know if this is my emulator or not glitching up, but I hope it isn't, because that's going to be kind of weird. So can these things damage me? No, they just chill, walk around. So we go down, and like I hear a soft voice from the basement is a fountain. The stone is there, hurry. So, let's see, we can go down more, or we can keep on... There's multiple places to go down another, but this is going to be... Oh. Ah! Oh, I scared her. She had a heart attack. Okay, Lily, tell me what's going on. Oh, so it's not just me who's seeing these little ghost things, which is coincidental, because he's... You know, not he, it is Halloween. And so she turned back into a dandelion puff, and she is going to borrow my pocket, if you know what I mean. And I didn't get to see what she said, but it probably wasn't important. You guys can pause that and try to rewind to that. So I'm just going to run into this door. So we see over here there is another door we can go down. But there's also another pocket on the left side that I want to go down. But So let's just use super speed and get over to here, where we can see that we can go left and down. Or left and up. And there's nothing... There's nothing over here. Okay, this game got a little weird. And so now we jump here. And let's go down. And we can go down further. I keep hearing soft voices everywhere. So is there going to be a soft voice to our left? We can go down or we can go down. So we gotta go over here. So yeah, you take a while forever to walk. Um, what the hell is going on in this castle? So, we finally get to see something different. I don't know, underneath the ground we see some sea anemones. Is that an actual enemy? Okay, it's an actual enemy. There we go. Let's get a, let's get a power up. Apparently there's more to this room. Let's go up. What's up? Um, okay, we see some graves, I believe. Um, one is open. We didn't get the special jewel for... This level, that means we can go down further. And we see some drops, and they explode. So, let's see. As we twirl our baton towards justice, we see more droppy things, and they die in one hit. I can go up here. Let's see what's up here. Another red jewel, right? Uh, okay, sweet. Let's keep on searching around. So, we go down one more step. And we see to our left there is a door. We see to our right that there is no more, or a lot more. Holy Jesus Christ, it's raining egg, eggs over here. These little silver eye droplet egg looking things, omelet ass things. Let's run to our left door since that doesn't go down further. I assume down is progress. And so we see a, what's his name? Oh Jesus, where'd they go? Like Lance. Roar! And then Neil, I remembered his position. Yeah. They're playing like the boo game over here, and so do I even get power-ups for this level, or... Like, yeah, because all the enemies just come back. Or do they normally come back? Oh my god, how much damage do they deal? Sweet Jesus, I was not paying attention to that. Um, oh, god. We see some worm, tendril, ass things. Um, what do we do here? What can be equipped? Nothing at the moment, so... Let's just, uh, look around. There's something to our right. 
I raise the red jewel. Red jewels fly to the jeweler's room in a single ray of light. Wait, what? I just sent the... I just sent the thing to the jeweler. Sweet. Um, so what do I do down here? Um, there's something. There's a stone or something. What the... What the hell? Hold on a minute. Okay, apparently we're supposed to talk with the... Yeah, there we go. Lily speaks from his pocket. Like, yo, is there a hole in the coffin? She better go look. So now our dandelion friend is going to magically disappear into the coffin, open it up, and found a strange stone. I got hit by an enemy, and I found out the enemies don't even matter here, so... I just took a quick blink into a little thing that... A few hint... Gave a hint to go back here, at least. So we got that stone they were talking about. So Lily went back, and my magical dandelion monster came back into my pocket. Um, items. We want the purify stone equipped, and so now I have to make the dangerous trek back down. None of the enemies matter, so it's just more of an important thing to not get hit. Let's hope something drops health. Um, I guess not. So let's just go back down. Okay, we're back down here, and I'm like, what? That's a strange fountain! Could there be a connection between this and the rock? So what we're gonna do is gonna, like, I raise the purification stone, and it runs into a spring. That is not a spring. That looks like a vat of black tar that dinosaurs died in. So now we're going to change the color of it and summon the Aqua Vela Velociraptor. And as we see here in a moment, nothing is happening at all, but I can't... Oh, there, now I can move. So let's talk to it, like, yo, what's up? What the, what's up? Purification stone. And let's go. Let's go, like, I'm not equipped. Does it change anything outside? Uh, oh, Jesus. There's uh, the shop dude, like, save, thank you. He was brought here from Frisia. <laughs> Um, so everybody apparently was demons, and so that, um, whoa, this is freaky, um, are these guys solid? No, they're non-existent. Let's run up to the next set of stairs. Okay, so apparently we are, we, oh, the slave trader, and, um, we got sold, they got, okay, so there's vampires afoot selling people, transforming them into enemies. So, that guy banged a really hot girl and turned into a demon. Um, so those two don't trust the other gender. Um, we're gonna see over here that there is, um, absolute... Let's go back to the coffins real quick, because there's... Maybe we're gonna see a vampire or something cool. I mean, like, Twilight fanfic, obvious joke goes here, so... Um, vampire, I can't seem to open the lid, like, yo, is there a hole in the coffin? Let's get a better look. And so now we're going to summon the Aqua Velociraptor Vampire, and there's a key. Um, no wonder it didn't open. Uh, oh, the key to it was stuck in there. I'm slow to process things today, so let's keep going right. Right, 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 we're going to run, we're going to run. Spin our Batuan a bit, our Batuan, Antoine, Batuan, and we're going to see to our more people, and like, yo. So these people all turn to labor, apparently, and like, yo. The land of Mu, like the Greek letter, also the friction constant. So this Aqua Velociraptor vampire is the guardian of friction, as we are going to go over here to find that we indeed were on a slippery surface, and underneath the slippery surface you find out that we actually had a perfect friction constant of zero, which is an impossibility, which we have to fight Aqua Velociraptor. So, there's a mystic statue here too. I'm trying to gather as much information as fast as I can. Because apparently we're breaking physicians here. The laws of physicianry. Physicianry. Passageway leading to Moo. Did this lead to Moo? Oh no. Um, who's over here? Not, where's, where are my hoes at? Nothing makes sense anymore. Where are my hoes at? So I'm not equipped. They said the top was a passageway to Moo. There is no passage right to Moo at the moment. Let's get healed up, because that's going to be important. I'll let this one run on for a little bit, because it's, it's been a while. So, Oh, hey, I'm, he I'm healed. Like, there we go. So, let's see. So, we got to fight our frictionless Aqua Velociraptor. I've said that too many times. Let's stop. So, here we go. Going up to where we see... Where are my friends at? They are. I know they're half transparent, but are they full transparent now? Like, come on. 
is it like a boo where I gotta turn around at the right time? Oh, this door, this is the area where there was like nothing, and so now there's more people. Maybe we could seize the palace and live together. Where have I not explored? This is... This is not making sense at the moment in the least. And that takes me up, but I've already checked that. Um, I can't handle puzzles in my head. Wait, did I come from here? Did I? Yes, I did. But I didn't come, I didn't go to the left door. This is really confusing, lots of running, and I didn't map out this place in my head. This is where there's nothing, right? I'm like, yeah, I stole a key. Here we go. So we see the key to the Seaside Palace. So this tech speed is enabled for third graders, and let's keep running upward. <laughs> We're going to make progress, I swear. <laughs> One way or another, we'll make progress by skipping around with the super fast forward button, because, you know, all games kind of need that. They don't kind of need that. They, they deserve that. And so, let's keep on... That's not the proper verb to associate with that in the least, but let's... <laughs> There we go, there we go, that's where I'm supposed to go. And now, after backtracking, running around, seaside palace scavenging, we're going to get over here. I'm not equipped. Oh, I hit the pause button. Oh, look at me. So, items, there we go. There's no keyhole. There we go, Lily spoke. She's like, yo, the phantom of the land of Moo lies ahead. So apparently she knew that ahead of time. Couldn't explain anything about what's going on, but let's keep going. Whoa, this is really weird if you run. Like, that visually hurts my eyes. I wonder if it's clear that it goes to Moo. Um, I don't know how you know all this, but you could have told us sometime in advance. And we got some timpani blasting on the things. Like, Lily and I will set foot to Mew. They will probably come welcome us after waking from a sleep of a thousand... How does he know they were, they were asleep for a thousand years? These, there are quite a few plot things not even remotely described in here. So, we got these enemies are back. Are these still demons, or how's it work? How's it, how's it go? So, can, is this like something I can run up? No. Okay, so we got Rock Lobster Golem Man, who is invincible briefly, but mm, apparently too brief. Okay, this is going to be the water temple of this game, and seaside palace, moo thing, whatever. I don't know why moo would be water, but moo what I would associate with me slashing rocks and making some good tings and I'm taking quite a bit of damage but we're also blowing up walls and once I get to a let's see maybe I should charge a charge one of these 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 bad boys up bam not enough to kill not enough to thrill and so after we get some more enemies slaughtered come on come on I only have so much time to do these things. Where's Frieden when you need him? And there we go. Frieden. There we go. Getting a few more things. There's more enemies here. Ugh. Okay, so this is the land that confused us all hell. And I can go into here, right? Or it's green. Can I psycho dash through it? No. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this for next time. I'll see y'all later.